Hey, what's going on everyone? It has been a long time since I made my last video. Um, so I decided to get my camera running again and show you a really nice ROM, which is definitely worth showing on the Nexus 7 Asus, which I'm still running. It runs lovely, it runs fast, the battery is great, still a very nice device to have for your multimedia purposes so I decided to install a new ROM on this which is called the CR Droid Android project I can quickly confirm that it's running Android Nougat Android 7.1.2 the CR Android version uh, for the Flow Edition version 3 and the um, Lineage OS kernel 3.4 which is very very fast so on 7.1.2 this device runs really fast and smooth as you can see here no problems whatsoever so I can quickly show you around this is the Attaway which is downloading uh, some new files right now to keep my ad blocker um, updated this is a dynamic header image, um, which you can also change. I will show you um, right now. In the settings, yeah, you can get a root access, of course. So it's doing some stuff in the background. So CR Droid settings are plenty of settings which you can use to, to really customize your device. <clears throat> As you know it from other ROMs like AOKP ROM and um, for the old school guys, the Team Sorcery ROM. This looks very similar to me. Uh, header provider is dynamic. Make sure you change it to uh, you you change it from uh, static to dynamic to get the custom header image going right here, which will also change if you put it to dynamic. This is the nature um, pack which I'm using right now, and you can also browse other camouflage. You can see plenty of um, pictures. In these um, header image packs so right now I'm using the nature one which is right here which gives you very nice dynamic images which will change so the device will go through all of these I'm sure so in the morning I had the nature 14 which uh, the Sun in which the Sun is going up and it looks really really nice a small thing I want to show you is the ripple effect on the navigation buttons, which I really like. So I try to hit it with my left thumb, so you can see the buttons are rippling in a very smooth uh, animation, which I really like. I really like the small details in ROM, and you can also change it to another effect if you want in the CR Droid settings. Let's go quickly to navigation and the navigation uh, bar. You can change the navigation bar color of course, small bar settings, I think it's in here. Button touch animation, so I have it on, on spring, not on ripple of course. It looks like a ripple effect but it's called Spring in here. Ripple is the standard animation of Google Android. You also have the option to have a flip animation, which I can show you really quickly. As you can see here, if I'm tapping the home button, it flips the icon like a coin flip. Back button, you can see it. Recents also. Button transparency, of course. Everything is really nice in this ROM and as you can see it's really really smooth and I really like having smooth ROMs on older devices. It makes the Nexus 7 still usable even in 2017. It's really 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 fast device so uh, custom kernel and custom ROM gives you plenty of performance and lots of customization. As you can see here in navigation you have so much to play with. I can't show you everything right now. But um, let's see here. Double tap to sleep is very nice to have from the LG G3. Power menu is really nice to have screenshot in here. 
Also the sound pan panel is nice to have in here. So you can quickly switch to silent when you hit the uh, power menu button. So immersive reasons, I don't know what this is, but let's go to full screen. It's overridden, of course, yes. Okay, so you have it in full screen. This is new to me. Navbar only, you can also change it to that. So you can change reasons in here. The sound, charging sounds, animation, which is also very nice. I like to play with these a lot. So let's say you would, you want to disable these, you can also do this here. But um, if you go to, let's say, the toast animation, uh, make sure you pay attention to the bottom of the screen, uh, I think. On my G2 I have Xylon, but I'm not sure. Let's check it out. Yeah, it slides from the left to the bottom, which looks cool. System animations. Let's go for task close, slide and left. If I hit the back button right now, you can change the new, uh, you can see the new animation. Scrolling cache, let's see, force enable. Oh, this is really nice. So it makes the device even smoother because you can enable a scrolling cache, which makes the device remember uh, where the actual settings are in the in in these uh, sort of list menus, which you can scroll through. Scrolling animation, custom values. You can do that. Oh, I really like the new animation which I'm using. I have the same one on my G2 which is here. You still remember my G2. If you want to check it out real quick, this is my home screen and it's running Android Marshmallow and I'm loving it. Quickly confirm. This is now running on a German version 6.0.1 BlissROM on my G2. So this is basically it. I wanted to show you some some nice customization things here but the main thing I want to give you, the main information I want to give you is this is a very capable ROM and it's it's really it's really really rock solid and you can use it as a daily driver like me. This is the Wi-Fi version of the Nexus 7, which I'm using here. And it's also available for the um, 3G version of this device with a SIM card in it. So you can see a very smooth ROM, very smooth experience. The battery life is great. By the way, this is the uh, icon for the battery, which I'm using right now. You have Attaway. In this ROM, you can see it right here. It um, will download the um, latest hosts sources, and it's checking for updates every day. Update available, like you can see here, so you don't have to mess around with your ads everywhere in your free apps, which is always nice to have. Give me a comment in the in the um, comment section below. If you still have uh, the Nexus 7 from Asus and if you like it or not and if you have found a ROM which really suits your needs. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm glad you joined me. And if you are searching for a nice ROM for your Asus Nexus 7, this is really it. The CR Droid project which um, I'm giving you the download link and the XDA thread in the description below. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one hopefully if I have time and I found a nice ROM to share with you. So have a great day guys. See you in the next one. Bye.